I've been getting a lot of comments about getting rejected and getting back out there and worried about not getting hurt again and also falling for the wrong person. Now, these are separate comments, but I really believe they're related. I think that you keep getting hurt because you're falling for the wrong person over and over again. And people tend to repeat the pattern until they realize that it's a vicious cycle. So that's what you've got to come to grips with. You keep getting hurt because who do you go for? Look at the types and you say, well, I don't have a type. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Because the same thing happens over and over again. So you do have a type. You're going for the bad boy or bad girl, the person you know is wrong for you, but this person is just drama, drama written all over them. And you're addicted to that drama. Well, I don't like nice guys. I don't like nice girls. Well, you know what? It's not that they're nice. It's the problem. The problem is you. The problem is you because you can't stand it when someone treats you well. You've got to not know what's going on. You have to somehow have this excitement in your life that, oh, I don't know what's going to happen next. And this guy's full of surprises, but they're not good surprises because what you see now, all this just fun and spontaneity. What that really means down the road is unreliability, betrayal. That's what it turns into, honestly. So you could say, well, the nice guys, the nice girls are just boring. What do you, when you say they're boring, you don't want to be treated right. You really, so do some soul searching, figure out what it is, what you haven't gotten in your life that, that makes you crave the drama. I I don't know you, but I do know that it's a bad, bad habit. And I think what happens is eventually everyone matures and they get to the point where they're sick of it. They can't deal with that kind of a person anymore. It's not going to lead to a long lasting relationship. It's just going to lead to heartache. So You got to figure that out. And I'd rather see it happen earlier than later, honestly. I don't want to see people in their 30s, 40s, 50s still going for the bad, bad boy types. No, it's not worth it. It really isn't. Because ultimately, you depend on your partner and they depend on you. And if you constantly wake up every day not knowing what this person is going to do, you're going to, it's going to be a lot of stress and the person really doesn't care about you. They only care about themselves. That's what happens with the bad boys. They don't really, they don't really, really care about anyone but themselves. They're number one in their own lives and they don't have room for anybody else. Unless of course you're willing to stroke their ego, which is what they're looking for. You're going to find this out. I just rather you not find it out the hard way and just stick with the people who care about you. It's really simple, but it's a concept that if you're not used to that, it's, it's like, wow, somebody really cares about me and I care about them. And that's what relationships are all about. And the sooner you get that, the better, and then you will stop getting hurt so much because you're going to you're going to be able to spot the right person and you're going to be able to see the person with a kind face the one who cares about you and you know what you're not going to get hurt at all cuz that's going to be your lifelong partner